Do I think that you should learn like proportions, you know, like putting lines on the face and figuring out all the exact proportions of where the mouth goes and where the nose goes and where, you know, like the measurements? No, I don't think you should do that. I personally just did photo breakdowns because the more you see, you build up your visual library. You build it up, baby. You build up that library and you know what looks good. That's, that's, that's the bottom line is you just got to know what looks good because you can't create something pro if you've never seen something pro, all right? Shut your little baby mouth. Shut, shut your little baby eyes. Shut them. Now imagine a world where you're not complaining all the time so much. Act like a little baby all the time. All right, let's get busy. Let's get busy, baby. <laughs> let's get busy. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? So, a lot of his videos start with them a lot of his vi- How does he do this? A lot of his videos already start with him uh, with, with the drawing, with the sketch already made. All right? It doesn't really show his process of how he does the sketch. And there's a reason for that. And, and this isn't- this isn't no hate- Alright, this isn't a- this isn't no like a hate video or something. This isn't like me exploiting him or something. I, I think it's just important to show the process that he's not really showing at this- at, at that stage. Now, I don't know if he's doing this, what I'm gonna show you, but, uh, I mean, I know I do it, and I know a lot of other people do it, and I'm sure he does it, and is it a big deal? No, it's not a big deal, all right? If you're in the industry, uh, you got, like, uh, deadlines. The industry meaning, like, animation or gaming or even YouTube. YouTube at this point, YouTube at this point is an industry, all right? If you're gonna make videos, if you got a schedule, then you're not gonna, all right, I'm just, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you, all right, here we go. So obviously, he uses photo reference, okay? That's, that's the big, that's the big secret. And it's okay to do this. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. He uses photo reference to paint, obviously, but, but what I'm mainly talking about here is using photo reference to draw, to make the sketch, all right? And that's what we're going to be looking into. Again, I don't know if he does this, but I should do it. It just makes things easier, it makes things fast. Alright, we're just going to start with his. We're going to break it down real fast. You can do this to photos, you can do this to other people's art. For me, getting better at drawing faces meant I needed to do this a lot. I needed to break down a lot of uh, photographs and figures. So this is the way I was taught to do it. To find, to find the mask, sometimes it needs to be a little bit more clear. So I've got this photo of this guy. Perfect mask right here. So this is the mask, essentially. The importance of the mask is you can immediately tell with these points where the person is going to be, where the person's face sits in 3D space. That's why it's so important to have it defined before you move on to any details. And essentially, where this spot sits is going to be right here where the, where the face turns but in the, the hairline area. And this line right here is gonna typically show you where the ear is gonna sit. All right, when doing the mask, it's really important to notice how much, like, uh, how much room there is actually on the forehead. So whenever I, I used to draw characters, I wouldn't draw the forehead that much. There's actually a lot of room up here. So if you're going over a, so if you're breaking down photographs like this, it's really important to recognize. Recognize. I don't wanna see you little babies just doing these uh, doing doing this little zooming in here and uh, zooming in and tracing these little lines like this, okay? All right, that's not a that's not a breakdown. All right, you zoom out and you see the big picture. Do uh, big confident strokes here. You're gonna find the mask. One more thing I'm going to go over is the eye sockets. All right, the eyes are probably the most important part. The eyes are like the second most important after the mask. So eyes are going to essentially sit in an oval socket here. So if you draw this first, if you draw these sockets first, then you're good. You're good, baby. As long as you draw these sockets, the foundation you can set the eye in there without breaking the socket. You can't break the socket, people. All right, so that's the socket. Now the lid's gonna sit in there. Look how pixely that is. All right, we're not getting in the details here, baby. Look, now that you've drawn the socket, you can kind of car, 
and kind of draw into that. Essentially doing these breakdowns, drawing these masks, you are forcing yourself to understand what's going on. It's not about making a pretty picture at this point. You're trying to understand the, the base. All right, so now I'm gonna follow this line. This is where the bottom of the neck sits, and it's gonna connect to the chin. That's going down. This is connecting to the back of the neck, back of the head. All right, we're not getting, we're not focusing on hair or anything. That's a little icing on the cake. Let's notice where the brows sit here, following the perspective line of the, uh, the bridge of the nose. And also the base of the nose is gonna follow the same line here. All right, so let's say we uh, lower the opacity of this. Now we can add all the curves that we want. So in design, in drawing, especially when you're starting out, it's easier to move from, it's easier, uh, for the most part, it's easier to have a base of straight lines and then at, at the end you add the fluidity of the curves. So now we know what base it sits on. All right, I'm gonna do some breakdowns and I'll get back to you in a second. So just a quick note right here, the eyes and the sockets sit on the, like on the inside of the, uh, the cheekbones. And the cheekbones basically wrap around, so they're like sitting on the inside. So if you see here, an overlap here, it goes around the side of the head. So good breakdowns, good photography breakdowns, drawing over them like that, it forces you to really try to uh, understand what's actually going on. So also another thing you'll notice when doing this is that the eyes don't sit flat on the face necessarily. They're not, the eyes aren't gonna follow, the, the base of the eyes aren't gonna follow the exact perspective of the, the bridge of the nose. It's because they're going to sit at a slant typically on the top of the cheekbones going down. It depends what race and you know, like what type of eyes you have. But for the most part, higher in the back, lower in the front. So they kind of taper in towards the nose. So even now I do this basically before every drawing that I do. I look up photo reference. I don't necessarily trace, I break down the photograph. And I think that's what Ross Tran does a lot too. Is it wrong? Uh, absolutely. Do I think that you should learn like proportions? You know, like putting lines on the face and figuring out all the exact proportions of where the mouth goes and where the nose goes and where, you know, like the measurements. No, I don't think you should do that. I personally just did photo breakdowns because the more you see, you build up your visual library. You build it up, baby. You build up that library and you know what looks good. That's 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 the bottom line is you just got to know what looks good because you can't create something pro if you've never seen something pro. All right. I didn't go into. Ooh. Modest here. I didn't go into depth about some of the fundamentals. And I'm not going to, because I'm not going to hold your little hand, I'm not going to hold your little baby hand. What you can do though, is you can go over to Skillshare, they got all the stuff you need, it's Skillshare. Okay, and you can get two months of free Skillshare by clicking the link below. You're going to help me out, you're going to give me some money. Bing, bang, boom, bing, bang. So if you like this video, you can maybe check out some of my other